Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on order of growth of functions in design and analysis of algorithms. First of all, what is order of growth? Order of growth means when the input size of the algorithm increases, then the computation type of the algorithm is also increases. That means the computational time is directly proportional to input size of the algorithm. If the input size of the algorithm is increases, then the computational time of an algorithm is also increases. So, there is a directly proportional between computation time of an algorithm and uh, input size of an algorithm. Okay. We can say that order of growth really matters when the input size is very, very large. The running time of an algorithm mainly depends on input size and the nature of the input. Okay. Order of growth simply provide the behavior of an algorithm. If the algorithm, algorithm is fast or algorithm is slow or algorithm is average. Okay. By using this order of growth, we can mention that that algorithm is fastest algorithm or slowest algorithm or average algorithm. So that can be that can be mentioned by using order of growth. Next one. Suppose we can take a problem. So to solve that problem, we have to use different algorithms. So, by using that different algorithms, we have to solve the same problem. Okay. Now, we have to compare the relative performance of the algorithms for the same problem. For that purpose, we have to use order of growth. Order of growth. Okay. So, order of growth can be mentioned in this order. Okay. First one is big O of 1. So, big O of 1 is nothing but constant. Next one is big O of log n. That is logarithmic. Next one is big O of n. That is linear. Next one is big O of n log n. That is also logarithmic. Next one is big O of n square, that is quadratic. Next one is big O of n cube, that is cubic. Next one is big O of 2 power n, that is exponential. Next one is big O of n factorial, that is factorial. So the relation between these functions is big O of 1 less than big O of log n. Big O of log n less than big O of n. Big O of n less than big O of n log n. Big O of n log n less than big O of n square. Big O of n square less than big O of n cube. Big O of n cube less than big O of 2 power n. Big O of 2 power n less than big O of n factorial. Okay. By using this order of growth, we can mention the efficiency of an algorithm. So that is which algorithms are efficient algorithms that can be that can be discussed by using the order of growth of functions. Okay. Suppose we can uh, we can see this example table by using this example table. Now, this relation is true or false. We can easily know. Suppose n is equal to 1. 
m is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 so what is the log n value that is 0 g log pico of log n value is 0 n value is 1 0 less than 1 that is pico of log n less than pico of n okay next one is now we go to n value is 4 n is equal to 4 so pico pico of log n value is 2 2 less than 4 that is log n less than n condition true next 4 less than 8 big o of n less than big o of n log n n value is 4 n log n value is 8 4 less than 8 that is condition true next one big o of log n value is 8 and big o of n square value is 16 ok 8 less than 16 condition is also true next big o of 2 power n so n is equal to 4 big o of 2 power 1 va n value that is 2 power 4 that is 16 16 less than big o of n factorial that is 24 so 16 less than 24 condition is also true so if the n value is increases so then this condition we have to check big o of log n less than big o of n Big O of n less than big O of n log n. Big O of n log n less than big O of n square. Big O of n square less than big O of n cube. Big O of n cube less than big O of 2 power n. Big O of 2 power n less than big O of n factorial. Okay. At some point, this condition may have to fail. But after n value is increases, so then this condition is true okay so by using this uh, relation so suppose we can take n okay so these are the lower bounds and these are all our upper bounds okay so for uh, big o of n what are the upper bounds are there big o of n log n big o of n square big o of n cube big o of 2 power n big o of n factor these all called as upper bounds for big o of n what are the lower bounds for big o of n that is big o of 1 and that is big o of log n okay now consider big o of n square okay what are the upper bounds for big o of n square big o of n cube big o of 2 power n big o of n factorial these all called as upper bounds for big o of n square what are the lower bounds for big o of n square big o of 1 big o of log n big o of n big o of n log n are the lower bounds for big o of n square we can take any big o function okay so after that function what are the available growth of functions are there that can be treated as upper bounds what are the growth of functions available before that big o of function that can be treated as lower bound function okay so by using this relation we have to find out the upper bounds and lower bounds for a particular function okay now so whatever the example we have to follow that can be shown in this diagram so in this diagram in the x axis n that is nothing but input size in the y axis that is growth of growth of function according to the input size okay so this is the log n and this is the n this is the n log n and this is the n square and this is the n cube and this is 2 power n and this is n factorial this is plot of function values okay so what are the functions are there that is log n n n log n n square n cube 2 power n that is n factorial okay so these are the available functions by considering this example table we can plot the graph between the input size and growth of functions so this is the order of growth of functions according to the input size 
if the input size is very very high then computational time of the algorithm is also very very high okay so this is the description about the order of growth of functions by using this order of growth of function we can uh, find out the efficiency of an algorithm we have to compare the relative performance of the algorithm we have to decide which algorithm is best which algorithm is worst which algorithm is average algorithm so these tasks can be done by using order of growth of function so this is the relationship between order of growth of functions so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel ne so divya srinivasa rao divya srinivasa rao thank you